Agara has developed a new VST3 plugin that supports NVIDIA broadcasting noise removal in Elgato Wavelink, which supports the Wave XLR, Wave 1, and Wave 3 microphones. Additionally, this plugin can be used for any other audio app like Audacity, Adobe Audition, or whatever other app you might use for all of your music or audio processing. NVIDIA broadcast noise removal is extremely powerful, and if you're familiar with the RTX audio processing AI that NVIDIA has with their RTX graphics cards, you'll know that this is extremely groundbreaking, especially when it comes to using Elgato Wavelength software. You don't need all of those crazy filters on top of each other to do all of your noise removal. Just use this and it's very easy and straightforward. Now, when Elgato made this VST3 plugin available for not just Wavelength, but everything else, this is truly amazing and props to Elgato for doing this because not everyone uses Elgato Wavelength software, which is okay. You can use it for anything else. But remember that you do need an RTX 30 series or or 20 series graphics card with Nvidia, otherwise this won't work. It's because of the tensor cores they have in there. It won't work with a GTX graphics card. You will need a plugin called Nvidia Audio Effects SDK from Nvidia's website. This is a separate plugin, but needs to be installed so that Elgato Wavelink can communicate with the graphics card. I'll leave a link to that download in the description, but Elgato Wavelink will prompt you to install that once you've downloaded the plugin from Elgato's website. And that link to the website download for the plugin in Wavelink is also down below that's a VST3 plugin. So you can also use it for Audacity, Audition, whatever other audio processing app you use. Now, once you've installed that VST3 plugin in Elgato Wavelink and NVIDIA SDK plugin on their website, make sure to restart your PC so that everything will take effect. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal in Elgato Wavelink and how to use that VST3 plugin. I'm gonna show you before and after results so you can see truly how powerful this is. But first, I'm gonna assume that you have the rest of your stream set up, you know, your chat, your stream key, your commands. Have you done your alerts? Well, Visuals by Impulse gives you really cool overlays, alerts, and assets, including emotes for your live streams. So you can make your live streams look even better. Visuals by Impulse is not sponsoring this video. I like them that much. I'm just talking about them. And if you use the link down below, you get 5% off your order automatically applied to your checkout. So it's really nice. They also have some really awesome free ones. I used a bunch of their free assets from Visuals by Impulse. And if you use the link down below, it supports the channel, allows me to continue creating free content for you so that you can continue to increase the production value of your live streams and videos. Let's continue with the video. Okay, so now that you have the best alerts and overlays to increase the production value of your stream, I'm gonna show you the before and after results of this NVIDIA broadcast noise removal. But if I type, you can hear that. Now, if I turn it on, oh, that's so much nicer. Oh, that makes such a difference. That's really nice. I'm gonna reduce it just a little bit because I don't want to make it sound too like underwater. Now I'm gonna assume you've completely installed everything and restarted your PC. Click this button, which opens the option to add a VST to any desired channel, probably your microphone. This is most likely the case. Click the plus symbol and go to Elgato, NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal by Elgato. Once you add that, you can control how strong this effect is. The stronger the effect, the more underwater you'll sound depending on how far the microphone is from your mouth. Now, if you get this error message, make sure that you've updated your graphics drivers and installed the correct NVIDIA audio effects SDK. All the links to that are down in the description. If you've enjoyed the video so far, please leave a like. It's really appreciated. You've watched this far, so you've enjoyed it somehow or find it useful. It's free and takes no effort. Don't forget you can get really awesome alerts, overlays and assets from VBI and you can get 5% off with that link down below. Increase the production value of your stream. They've got free ones too and they're really worth your time. Now these updates with Elgato and Nvidia are truly groundbreaking and they have more. With Elgato's HD60X, it's now the first VRR capture card that supports G-Sync pass-through which is absolutely amazing. Now the capture card will communicate with your graphics card and allow NVIDIA G-Sync pass-through to your monitor so you don't get that screen tearing jitters and all that lag. Your G-Sync monitor is now compatible with the Elgato HD60X with VRR capabilities. So this is truly groundbreaking. I've also created a video that highlights the NVIDIA broadcast technology in Camera Hub. So now you can turn your $169 Elgato face cam and look like it's a $800 DSLR with encamlink 4. 4K, which is truly amazing. Not exactly like it, but it comes very close and is the next best thing if that's the closest thing you can afford to a camera. Thanks so much for watching. Make something great.
Oh, wait, I'm streaming. Whoops. I meant to record. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again, dude. No. Well, I've done this before. Oh, my goodness.